Why you're afraid of talking to girls. These are the three reasons why. And I learned these things because the times where I wanted to talk to more girls, I got rejected and I didn't really want to do it anymore. I stayed down for a bit. So I decided to go back up again and try again. And then that's when I found personal development. I watched Hamza, Cole Hastings, Sneeko. I started talking to more girls. I started talking to more guys. I read the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I started doing all these things to get to know more people and become socially confident in the school hierarchy. And so after graduating high school, none of my friends contacted me. I spent a couple of years trying to figure out what I want to do. But then I came across this concept called building a social circle and how it can benefit your life. And then I realized that if I built a social circle, I can level up, I can get access to business opportunities, I can be around beautiful girls. After I discovered this around eight to nine, 10 months ago, I started to go really full on into this. And this is my life right now. And after talking to more girls and having all these experiences, I really condense everything down to really three main reasons, which is why you struggle to talk with girls, why you really can't hold conversations, why you just afraid of talking to girls. The third reason is the most important part, which will change your life. Now, the first reason is you put people on a pedestal, not just girls specifically, in general people. You put girls, you put guys on a pedestal. This is not seeing people realistically you're seeing them unrealistically you're attaching you're attaching this idea to them like this is the best girl in the world that's not completely true you don't even know the person how are you supposed to gauge and so you create this fantasy this sort of idea in your head and you keep replaying it like oh yeah this per this is the person yeah this person is kind this person is kind just because of that one five minute interaction you don't know the person and so your perception is like very distorted you're not able to see people realistically and so when you're not able to see people realistically you put them on a pedestal because you don't see them as human you don't see them as the same as you. You see them as someone above you. You see them as this alien creature. Like even with guys as well, high status guys you may see walking around you. High status guys you may see in your environment. You sort of put them on a pedestal thinking that they're so much better than you. When in actual fact, they're, they're basically just you. They're, they're, they're human. And so the reason why you don't see them in a realistic manner which would allow you to actually humanize these people is because you don't hang out with people. You don't go outside. I guarantee that if you put people on a pedestal, you don't go out at least three days a week. And so this is the second reason. You need to desensitize yourself. You are not desensitized to people. You don't see people in a realistic manner. You see people through an idea. You see people through a warped perception. So what you guys need to do, like actually you guys can start doing this, is go out three days a week, bro. Go to the fucking nightclub. Go to the bar. Go to these places. Start going outside and talking to people. Because how are you supposed to see people in a realistic manner? How are you supposed to understand that these are people when you don't talk to people, when you don't communicate with people? How are you supposed to conquer your fear of talking to people if you don't talk to people? It's like... You have social anxiety because you fear talking to people and that's perfectly normal, especially if you're not that socially confident. And so the only way to overcome it is to be more capable, to be more competent, to desensitize yourself. Back in the days, I used to see these guys and girls as like really high up on the pedestal. I used to see, oh, like this girl's so amazing. After talking to these girls, I used to put on a pedestal. After talking to these guys, I put on this pedestal. I just started talking to the people I put on the pedestals. And after talking to these people, I realized, wait, bro, like they still shit. They still get depressed. They still get anxious when they go into a new environment. They still feel uncertainty when they go to new places and try new things. I'm like, bro, they experience the same spectrum as me. They experience anxiety. They experience depression. They experience joy and happiness. Like, I don't know. I just never really realized that these people were actually human. I didn't really see them as human because I felt that what I was going through was just special. Like I was just, I was just a special snowflake. I just, you know, I'm depressed. Like this only happens to me. I'm like, no, this happens to them too, but they're just better at managing it. So what you guys need to do is just go out, bro. Just go to the salsa, go to the nightclub, go to these places which force you to be social. They force you to be social. They force you to be social. I, are you getting it? They force you to be social. Go to social environments if you want to be social. Do you understand what I'm saying? Shake your head, shake your, yes, yes you do. You go to a nightclub to be social. You go to a bar to be social. You go to salsa classes to be social. You go to these things which force you to be social. This will desensitize you to the fantasy, the ideas you create in your mind about what this type of person is, like your preconceived judgment about this person and you creating a story in your head on the type of person they are and how they're a bad person or a good person. You just need to desensitize yourself, see people for who they truly are, 
get to know these people and you start to really not be afraid of these people. You stop, you stop fearing these girls that you really put on a pedestal because you actually see them but then they're not actually that good. They're actually not hu good human beings, some of them. They're actually terrible human beings. Some guys are terrible human beings. Some other guys are really good human beings. So it's just besides the gender thing, you start to realize that there'll be some good people and some bad people. Not, not all girls are bad, not all guys are good. And so when you can start desensitizing yourself, you start to develop basic social skills because you lack basic social skills, right? That's probably one of the awesome other reasons why you're afraid of talking to girls. It's because you just lack basic social skills, which is, it's sad that that's a thing, but uh, that's, yeah, that's it. You know, most of us are just out here playing Rocket League, Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, 12 hours a day on the computer. Like, no wonder we have shit social skills. Most of us lack basic social skills. So if you can have basic social skills where you can just ask questions, you can listen to them, you know when to interrupt, when not to interrupt, then you're basically ahead of 80% most majority of people, right? Majority of people aren't even aware that they can change. Majority of people don't even want to change. Majority of people don't even watch videos like these. So you're definitely onto something. I'm not saying that just to validate the viewer because I know a lot of YouTubers, they say like, because you're watching this video, you're the top 1%. Like, no, like that's bullshit. You know, you're not the top 1% yet, but you are on the right path getting there if you're watching a video and you want to educate yourself. Here's a gold sticker. And so girls and guys, like these, pe just people in general, they wanna be around you because of the type of person you are. And so you have to understand this law, it's in the book called the Kai Balian. It basically explains the universal laws of reality. And so if you understand these laws, you can literally bend reality to your will. So one of the main important ones I wanna discuss here is the law of correspondence. Now this basically means as, as above, so below. So what does this mean, right? Inner world reflects the outer world. This is what you need to understand, the inner world, outer world paradigm. So whatever you feel, other people feel. If you feel confident, if you feel sure of yourself, if you feel very certain, other people are going to feel certain, other people are gonna feel at ease because you feel certain. You know what you're talking about. You, you hear me what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You're listening to me. I'm talking in a very confident manner. So you feel confident, you feel certain. If I would feel depressed and I would talk anxiously, I'm like, so today we're gonna to be talking about Three reasons to get girls boring, boring. You would feel anxious watching me. So you have to understand like things reflect back and forth. The sun reflects on the lake and then the lake bounces the sunlight off the lake and then it bounces off to the sky. And then we have blue skies. So how this applies to your social confidence, your social life, your lifestyle, is that if you were really that incredible guy internally, like inside you're an incredible guy, it would reflect externally, the inner world, outer world. If you were really that guy inside, it would reflect outside because that guy inside would have already created the reality outside. If that guy was socially confident, if that guy would had all the knowledge in the world to make change the things he wanted to change, if that guy had everything he knew inside his mind, that reality would have already been here by now. You just have to understand that you aren't that guy yet. You're not that guy. Like, we can always work on ourselves. Like we're not stuck, right? So don't worry about whether you're not good enough because we can always be better. We can always improve ourselves and we can always get to that stage where we're doing a bit more better. And so this segues to the third reason, which is creating the attractive lifestyle. This is creating your lifestyle 2.0. This is the next level of who you are because your inner world reflects your outer world. So your lifestyle is basically the reflection of your internal change, which is you taking action and doing the things you said you would. Going to the gym, talking to that girl, talking to that guy, going to that event, talking to new people, networking, getting around certain people, you know, adding value to people's lives. These are taking actions, which these are like the internal things that you do. You taking that action then reflects out into the external world where then the world changes around you, your reality changes around you because you understand the law of correspondence. You start smiling to people, you start talking to new people because you start talking to new people, other people start talking to you because whatever you give comes back, right? The law of correspondence. And so in January 2024, when I started to build that lifestyle, I started to go out more, I started to go out to places more, introduce myself to new people, get people social media contacts, you know, found out what's happening in my city, the events. I started going to all these places. I started to get to know all these people. And because I took all this action before and I started to talk to all these new people, my lifestyle changed. I developed the 2.0 version of my lifestyle. And then I'm onto the 3.0 version, the 4.0, the 10.0. I'm, I'm always evolving to the next 2.0 version, the next version of myself. And so when I started working on myself, I started building the life I want to live. I started taking the decisions I wanted to take. I started mixing around the people I wanted to mix around. I just started naturally talking to more girls and becoming more socially confident. And let me tell you why, all right? Let me tell you why. I don't want you zoning out for this, okay? So listen, you need to need yourself. Let me say that one more time. 
you need to need yourself. Most people need other people and they don't work on themselves. If you don't need yourself, if you don't need to show up to work, if you don't need to exercise, if you don't need to keep up and look better, if you don't need to keep working on that project you're working on, if you don't need to practice your art, your craft. Let me, let me ask you, how are other people supposed to be into you if you aren't into yourself? How are other people supposed to buy into you if you can't buy into yourself, if you don't even like yourself? Like that's where the problem arises. And the reason why you don't like yourself is because you don't like the life you're living and you don't like the choices you made because the choices you made will reflect into the external world. You understand the inner world, outer world paradigm. So if you make the choice to eat better, to eat cleaner, to go to the gym every single day, six days a week, then this decision will reflect into the external world and you become more fit, you surround yourself with more shredded people, you get your diet locked in, so you go to these environments which shop for cleaner food and you'll meet more people that way. So when you work on yourself and you buy into who you are, you actually like yourself. You actually want to show yourself to other people because you're proud of who you are. This is where needy behavior stems when you don't even like yourself. And so because you don't like yourself, you need other people to like you for you to like yourself. Your validation, the way you perceive yourself is based on how other people perceive you. And so, you, this, and so this is where people are very vulnerable to manipulation, exploitation, when all their sense of self-worth is based on the opinions of others. And in year 12, that used to be me. I used to base my self-worth, my sort of perspective, my sort of identity on how other people viewed me because I wasn't working on anything which I could use to feel proud of myself, to actually show myself to other people. Like there was no reason to be proud of who I was. And when you start working on yourself and you start like actually developing yourself, you start to become proud of who you are. You start to actually buy into you because fuck bro, like I'm, I'm amazing, like I'm shredded. I've made these deals, I've talked to these people, I've been around certain people, I have this thing, I have this project I'm working on. Like, Bro, you like yourself because you have all these things going around you. So you don't need anything from anyone when you just need yourself. So you need to understand that you need to need yourself. That's the one mindset you need to have. You need to need yourself because if you don't need yourself, then other people won't need you, which is, that's the reality of it. If you don't buy into you, other people won't buy into you. Let's say you have this amazing product, right? You have this protein powder that's fucking amazing. You get shredded, you have all, you gain all this crazy muscle, like you gain like 10 kilograms within the past three months and it's, it's mad. Now if this protein powder, like this very specialized protein powder, natural certain protein powder, special whey protein powder, whatever, right? If this protein powder has changed your life, wouldn't you want to recommend it to your boys? Wouldn't you want to say, bro, this, this protein powder is fucking amazing. I'll, I'll literally buy you a pack for free for you guys to test it out. Like, oh yeah, you have to try this protein powder. Like, this, it tastes so good. Like, it's actually really good for you because there's no like shitty like synthetic ingredients in it. It's like all natural, all organic, and it tastes really fucking good. And I gained like nine kilograms after two to three months of using this. Like, you would sell this shit hard because you actually believe in it. You think this is a good product. Why don't you do it to yourself? You are the person. You're selling yourself to other people all the time. Oh, I did this. Oh, this is a story that happened. Oh, I remember yesterday I did this. The way you move, the actions you take. You're always selling yourself. If your product is shit, if it doesn't deliver results, if it has bad service delivery, bad customer support, of course you don't feel confident. Of course you're scared of talking to girls because you don't even like yourself. Like all these issues like, I'm scared of talking to girls. I'm afraid of talking to girls. These are all symptoms of you just not liking the life you live. Like when I break it down here in this video, it's very logical. Like this information is fucking golden. I know it is, bro. Like I, I know this shit, it's golden. I wish I knew this shit, bro. I wish I knew that working myself would lead to more confidence. Like I kind of knew it in the background, but I didn't actually tangibly knew that if I like myself, other people will like me. If I buy into myself, other people will buy into me because I have so much conviction myself that I'm able to exude it to other people. I'm exude it to the camera, I'm exude it to that guy. I'm able to exude it to that girl. Like I have this energy just flowing out of me. I have this cup of water, which is just filling up with water all the time. And my cup is full. So if you buy into yourself, if you work on yourself and you develop an amazing character, an irresistible character, an irresistible offer, an irresistible product, then of course you'll feel confident. Of course you won't be afraid of talking to new people because you know who you are and you know you're fucking amazing. You're a killer. And so this comes down to creating that lifestyle, creating that attractive lifestyle, which is the life you want to live. This is your lifestyle 2.0. This is the life that you've been always wanting to live. But you kept putting it off. You kept saying, when I make this money, when I do this, when I get this position in my job, when I get older, when I do this, when I do that, when I graduate, all this fucking bullshit. Do it now. That's the only thing I need to say. And that's the only thing you need to hear. You know you wanna develop that social circle of friends that actually give a fuck about you and wanna see you when you know what you want. So to finish it off, 
you need to create the attractive lifestyle because the attractive lifestyle, which is the life you want to live, will then result in you becoming more desensitized, you talking to new people. When you desensitize yourself, then you won't put people on a pedestal because you'll see people for who they are. And then when you see people for who they are, you will stop putting them on a pedestal. You actually see them realistically. So this is how you stop being afraid of girls. And most of the time, I didn't even talk about girls. I talked about basic, deeper rooted issues that you're dealing with, which is internal issues. Everything is internal. Everything is internal issues. Like, oh, I can't talk to girls. I can't make money. I can't like be around and be confident. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, <laughs> bro, it all comes down to internal issues. It literally all is internal. So if you can focus on making that better product, actually working on the parts which are important to you, like the parts in your life. If income, girls, and social circle, if these things are important to your life and you work on all these three things, then you start to feel more confident because you're progressing, you're becoming more competent, more capable, and you're actually living the life you wanted to live. And so you will just feel amazing. You won't need anything from anyone. You will derive your sense of confidence, your sense of pride, your sense of respect from who you are and what you do for yourself. And you will start to actually like yourself and promote yourself to other people. Like I did this, you know, I'm working on this. I'm excited for this. You start talking and talking and talking because you know you're the shit. You know you're that guy. You don't need to pretend when you are him. So I hope this video has helped you. If you want to build that social circle like this right here in the video, building an attractive social life that gets all the people that I want in my life, improving myself, leveling up while having fun with these people, then click the link in the description, join the community below. You get access to the free course on how to do this all. Stop waiting and start doing. And I will see you in there, my guy. Click the link in the description below. Peace.